Hello everyone, welcome to Queen's University and welcome to the MA in History. I'm Dr. Eric Morier Genoux, I'm a reader in African history and I am one of two persons who will be convening the MA this year. Today I'm doing the induction session. So for this induction session I will talk to you about how the MA is organised, the lectures uh, you're going to take I will talk to you about um, how the MA is organized, who's the convener, how the tutorial will run, how we have adapted um, the teaching method to avoid problems with COVID, so a mix of um, online teaching and in-person, what the university calls a blended approach. And I'll talk to you about resources for writing essays as well as a dissertation, so secondary sources in the library, um, and as well as online material. So to start, you want to know that uh, the MA uh, conveners um, are two this year. We used to have one convener for the MA, but in view of the difficulties with uh, COVID this year, we decided to have two, and I'll come back to you later to the topic to explain uh, what extra we're offering. Um, so it is two conveners. The first is Dr. Marie Coleman, who is a reader in Irish history, and the second convener will be myself. I'm sure you know already the uh, Department of History at Queen's um, has people working on the range of topics, period, and uh, geographical areas. I've listed here a few um, on religion, and identity, on women history, on conflict, on different geographical areas of the world, as well as different period, ancient, modern, medieval, etc. The idea of the MA is um, designed as a one broad uh, set of courses which allow you to develop your own specialism within that set of uh, modules. The idea is that you will develop, or maybe you have already, an area you're passionate about or interested in, and you will then be allowed to do essays on these topics and work with a particular lecturer or professor in that area. So let me tell you how the modules are organised and where you can fit that specialism and where you will be given generic training to help you write essays, and think harder and more critically about topics, and then write your dissertation. Okay, so the first semester, you will have to take uh, three modules. The first on this here is called Theory and History. Um, this is a theoretical course, as the title says, where you'll be looking at different theories, concepts and perspective, such as uh, class history, that is Marxism, I suppose, gender, culture, uh, spatial history and memory. Um, these are courses which are meant to give you tools to develop your own approach. Um, so for you to think about how to write history, what, what kind of concept and theories might be helpful, and also give you actually tools to read other authors and understand what lies behind their own approach, um, what perspective they are actually employing. The second module is called Pathways in History, and it is somewhat complementary to this one in that um, different colleagues, more colleagues actually, will talk of their own experience of practicing history, history um, uh, as in looking at politics, looking at social and cultural history, gender again, class and ethnicity, and urban. And their different colleagues will talk about how they um, approach topic, how they practice it on uh, their own research, and there's a, a tutorial where that is a more interactive bit the following week. So quite sophisticated uh, module um, which will give you a really wide range of um, uh, ideas and perspective um, to get inspired of and then um, to know a little bit more about the colleagues available in the department for you to work with. The third module is Individually Negotiated Topic, and here, as the title suggests, the idea um, is for you to delve into a topic uh, you're interested in, possibly um, something which uh, moves in the direction of what you want to do for your dissertation, 
Um, and what it is really is a very long essay, which you will do over the semester, under the supervision of one colleague, one member of staff in the Department of History. Um, so you can choose whatever topic um, um, and then discuss with your supervisor. And over the semester, you're going to write this really long um, essay, or you could say draft um, a paper towards the dissertation. If you're not comfortable with that um, and you rather have another module which is more properly taught, you can do two things. One, as it is explained on this slide, one is to take this uh, module called Belfast Place, Identity and Memory in a Contested City, which is taught in the Institute of Irish Studies. And this is a proper module uh, focused on Belfast, so with the best historians about Belfast. Alternatively, you can um, look in the MAs across um, different schools, um, the, in, across the um, social science um, and humanities faculty, so English and sociology, anthropology, politics, and you could take a module there as a substitute to this individually negotiated topic. So we have a list of courses which you can look into and consider different options there, but that will be a way more structured um, kind of uh, teaching for these two alternatives. Um, this may suit you better, and that is the idea, as, we, as I said earlier on at the very beginning, we're trying to cater for different students having different wishes um, and maybe a different objective as to what they want to do with the MA. Uh, we want people to certainly enjoy the MA and develop um, their skills in the most appropriate way. So for semester two, you again have three modules to take. The first one is Becoming a Historian, which is a um, module designed to give you the skills to do research and to um, work on your dissertation. Um, my colleagues will teach you about how to use archive, how to use numbers to write a history, um, how to use literary sources, digital history, and visual sources, among others. The second module is called Case Studies. Um, and here you have two suites of modules you have to take, um, mini modules, I should have said. And here you can take topics um, which have taught in more lecture way, if you want, on small um, uh, four weeks courses, and you will be able to uh, take a mini module on gender history called Unruly Genders, uh, Transnational History, Race, Labour, City and History, and there it is more a seminar-like of, of um, a module um, where you expect it to actually write essays, so hopefully building on uh, what you've done in a previous semester and knowing by now all the different approaches you have for this kind of history. The third module is a definitely skill one about presenting sources. That's the title of the, MA, the module. Um, and here you're going to um, learn how to present different kind of history based on archival history or digital history or ancient history looking at numismatic and all these kind of uh, skills you really need if you're going to be a proper professional historian. Um, there you have to write an essay um, uh, and I think a report before that about how you use the archive or how you can find uh, documentation. If you're not too keen on that kind of very technical and very skill-oriented uh, type of module, you have again the option of taking MA module in another school um, which uh, may be English, sociology, politics, anthropology, etc. Um, but I think I would advise you strongly to take this uh, module on presenting sources. At time it may seem um, uh, very studious and very um, uh, technical, but it is a skill which is really important and which will be most useful for you for whatever um, uh, job you do afterwards. Once you've finished your modules um, in June, um, probably May or June 2021, you will then engage in the work of a dissertation. You have to think about what kind of dissertation you're going to do and who you're going to do it with, which supervisor. Um, early on, since the beginning of the year, and you have to submit a small proposal just giving the title of the research question and having identified the primary sources. 
Uh, but you really start then in May to do the research um, and then write a dissertation which you have to submit in early September 2021. The dissertation is a major piece of work as it is written on the um, PowerPoint here, it's uh, up to 20,000 words um, and it is considered a major piece of original research. So it is not an essay anymore. You have to go into an archive, digital archive, all sort of a primary document you may use. But you have to use that to develop an original piece of work. You will get a supervisor who you will meet um, quite regularly and who will advise you on the feasibility of a thesis, whether it's too large a period, whether um, maybe the archive is not accessible, maybe there's another archive you could use, etc. And in with that supervision, then you get the orientation to do a piece of work um, which is feasible within the time imparted. And this this station should be really a um, achievement of your MA and of your uh, career, I suppose, as a history student, uh, getting you ready to get into the PhD if you want to. If not, then you're a mature um, a historian who knows how to do research, who can write a dissertation, so accomplished by then. Hopefully, the dissertation is a um, on a topic you enjoy doing history as you like. Um, so it could be on visual history, um, it could be all sorts of history, and I hope you find a topic which fascinates you. And most of the time, it is actually a really exciting uh, moment both for the student and supervisors. It's enjoyable for us to see students um, blossom into the dissertation and engage in real research uh, independently. Um, and it is exciting because it's more challenging, it's more exciting results than um, BA students, for example. So it's usually a very exciting moment for both the student and supervisor. Um, and this is, as I say, uh, the pinnacle of your training as a historian. Now, if you're a part-time student, um, the organization of the MA is slightly different. That is the time period, of course. So instead of doing three modules over one semester, you do the three modules over one year. So the first semester is spread across one year, either two modules in, in one semester and one in the next, or vice versa, and then three modules the following year. As to the dissertation, you um, do it in your third year, and you submit it uh, in May of that third year. Should you wish to, you can uh, submit it in September. And if you are actually um, ready already, you could submit it at the earlier, by the end of your second year as well. As explained by university, the teaching will be as much as possible blended. That means um, some of the teaching will be face to face in a classroom, um, but some of it will be actually online. That will depend partly on the arrangements in the classroom and partly on the lecturers. Lecturers may have uh, health issues, some students have health issues which do not allow them to have face-to-face -face, um, teaching or seminars. Um, that will go from uh, change from one module to another um, as well as from one lecturer to another. Uh, but there is a commitment to get both what may also happen is when it is face to face, not all students may be able to come. So it may be rolling. Half of the students come one week, the other half come the other week for face to face. And sometimes all the students would be online. Another arrangement, which is always uh, the case at Queen's, is all our MA teaching is in the late afternoon. This is for you to be able to continue to work if you do so. If you have parents, that should accommodate and facilitate you're taking the module. Considering the specific situation with COVID of this blended teaching, as I told you at the very beginning, we decided to have two MA conveners and then to reinforce the mentoring of the MA students. Concretely, what it means is uh, my colleague, Dr. Marie Coleman and I will actually meet you all individually online in the first week, maybe the first two weeks, um, to get to know each other as convener. Um, and then from uh, the second week onwards, I um, will hold um, office session online 
So I will be online available for whoever wants to talk to me um, so we can have a following face-to-face -face, uh, uh, across the semester. More individualized uh, meeting will happen online with some of your tutors and supervisors so the individually negotiated topic um, the, for that module you look at the supervisor who will meet you probably once a week maybe once every two weeks at maximum um, so you will actually have in spite of some of it being online a continuous engagement with the member of staff at Queen's University. Another issue of course is the material books primary sources um, so the first thing to say is that the library, in spite of COVID, is open. It has reopened, um, I think, mid-August, um, and they established a one-way system so that students can go into the library, collect books, and also work with the respecting distances. So it's been well organised, and I have gone myself personally. I've been quite impressed with the um, uh, uh, measures taken. Um, we have developed, of course, quite a bit of online sources. So the university now, um, or the library that is, um, buys uh, only, or preferably, I should say, online books, as well as a paper book, sometime version. But we try to get as much uh, online material in the library, so that even if um, you don't want to come to the library or can't come to the library, you get as much material as you can online. There is also a lot of material which members of the staff have put online, not on the library, but on Canvas. If you don't know what Canvas is, this is a kind of platform where you get all the material for your courses, you get the readings, you get the reading lists, the organisation of, of the module, um, you get uh, your essays, uh, instruction there, and you have to submit your essay there. Um, so Canvas uh, has replaces in some ways uh, the handbook we used to have, um, but it's actually because it is online, has allowed us, allowed us to put not only the handbook but then all the readings there. Um, so there's a lot of material as well on campus. Um, and then concerning the station, we have been working hard um, to try to make a list of all the archive online possible and imaginable. And since um, the COVID has hit us now by six months ago, We've um, worked at establishing, uh, as I say, lists and trying to think creatively about uh, how to do research um, if you can't get an archive. So hopefully archives will be open again next spring, um, but we certainly in the short term organised an alternative, uh, being very conscious of the difficulties students may have. And some of you may have, as I said earlier, on conditions, so we're particularly concerned about that. So to conclude, a rather odd induction to start with, and apologise for that, um, but I'll catch up with you guys individually, uh, hopefully in week one of the semester. I hope this induction has proved useful. If you have any question, write me an email. We can have a conversation anytime. We are committed um, at Queen's, at, at, uh, at the MA in History, to uh, make this semester work as well as possible. Maybe there'll be advantages to actually lecturing in blended um, fashion. Um, you'll get more details from your my colleagues who are convening each module, so much more details are going to come to you very quickly. But I hope this overview gave you a clear idea of um, what is going to be taught, how, how we uh, made efforts to try to uh, make this MA as good as normal, maybe improve some certain things. Um, any comments, any complaints, any suggestions are most welcome. Um, and I may be a full, first port of call uh, for that matter. Uh, we are committed to um, talking to our students and uh, responding to whatever need and request may come. So thank you very much for watching. I will uh, see you in person online or in my office or outside very soon, I hope, and I wish you a very nice rest of the day.